they were looking out the window at the fire down in the harbor and in an instant everything exploded right the the window came in on my father uh, he was looking directly out so all the glass came in on his face and his upper body the house collapsed and my grandmother and aunt were scalded and my grandmother had lacerations on her arm the doctors looked at him and determined that his eyes couldn't be saved and both of his eyes were removed in an instant a little baby you know a little happy-go-lucky little baby and now he's he's without sight and uh, it devastated his parents as you can imagine well, I say my mother, mother saved me. That's all I can say. He worked for Crookshank's funeral home. He went around with a horse and wagon for Crookshank, picking up the bo dead bodies. People tried to forget it. No, they tried to forget it. You don't carry them things around. I, I never carried that stuff around. Many of them said that their mothers would never speak of it because many of the fathers had been killed. You know, they were working in Richmond and along the shoreline, along the harbor in Richmond, were the various works, the sugar refinery, the foundry, etc. And they were all very badly damaged. And so many of them had very vivid personal stories. And I don't think the mothers could ever have spoken like that. For a mother who lost perhaps husband and two children, terrible. My brothers and I, you know, knew our father was blinded in the Halifax explosion. But it wasn't a topic for discussion on a regular basis, and my grandmother um, wouldn't talk about it. People didn't want to dwell on those things. In 1918, on the one-year anniversary, there was a service, and then there wasn't anything else until 1967. For over 50 years, there was no commemoration of the Halifax explosion. They have little ceremonies at the little memorials to the unidentified dead, but there were no main ceremonies. It is a part of our, a big part of our history here in the city, and. Um, you look at other places and they, I guess, documented their history, commemorated it a little better maybe than we did here. Um, I'm glad we're, I'm so glad that we're doing it now. Mm -hmm.